Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word of encouragement is, God said it's time for you to get up and do better. Be a leader, not a follower. Some of us are trying to follow the wrong people in our life and we wonder why we still in the same situations where we at today. God wants you to be a leader in their life. You have to tell people the right things to do. The Bible verse that I want to read to you is James 4 and 10 and it reads, humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. You got to humble yourself. If you want God to do anything in you, you got to humble yourself and start praying. Some of you want God to do things for you, but you're not praying. You got to put the work in. We all have to put the work in. Whatever we want God to do, we must put the work in. We got to start praying. We got to start fasting. We got to start into seeing for other people. You can't just see the vision that God has for you. You got to see what God has for everybody too around you. Pray for somebody. Give somebody a dollar. Help somebody. Buy somebody some food. Help each other. Okay? Be a leader. Be a person that set, the, set everything right. That set things in order. Set things correctly. Be a leader. Don't be a follower. Be a person that can help others. Be a person that can be the change. You know what I'm saying? Humble yourself. I know it's hard, but I'm going to tell you, humble yourself. I know you want to talk back. I want. I know you want to be disrespectful towards people. I know you want to be the big boss, the big person. I know you want to be disrespectful sometimes, but sometimes you got to humble your mouth and say, Lord, I'm going to be a leader in this. I'm going to help them out. You got to be a leader. Stop trying to follow behind other people. The reason why some of us are not where we are today because we're following behind the wrong people. You got to be, listen, be your own leader. Be your own leader. I'm telling y'all, me being by myself, I'm talking about being by myself sometimes. When I do my channel, when I do my stuff, I'm independent. You got to be independent. Some things in your life, you got to be independent. You can't do everything with somebody. You got to learn how to be your own, your own individual. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn how to do things by yourself. You got to learn how to be by yourself and learn how to be a leader. You got to learn how to be a leader, like a father, leading the family. He's, he's leading the family the right way. If your husband, if your husband not leading you the right way, you need to let him go. And I tell any woman this, you need a man that's going to lead you to God. If he's not leading you to God, you need to let him go. And I'm just being honest. The Bible says it. That man should leave his home and be with his wife. And listen, if he, if he not acting and if he not changing his ways and he still got the worldly ways, you need to let him go. Because listen, you need to let him know I need a leader in my life. I, I'm going to follow my man that's following God. And if that man ain't following God, you need to let him go. And I'm telling you the truth. You better, you better watch who you allowing around your kids and around everyone. Because it, it's, it's unacceptable. Some of these people need to know it's, it's, it's nasty. You got to watch the things that you're doing. You want to be a leader, not a follower. So please get yourself together. May the Lord bless you. May you be a leader and be an example to somebody. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. I want to say humble yourself. Don't let nobody get in your way. Remember the things that God have done for you. God have took you through a lot. And he brought you through a lot. And I want you to know that God is going to make a way for you. And remember, you are a leader. Everything you have faced, everything that you have been through, it's time for you to get up and be a leader. It's time for you to be an example. It's time for you to help other people out. People seeing your work. People seeing the things that you did. I want you to know you are a leader. And you was born to lead people. God bless you. Be encouraged. Do not give up. But pray about all things. Stay blessed.